Yeah, I be really chillin', I be in the zone Praying up to God that I really make it home Cause I know the opposition's really want me gone I've been making money moves, yeah, I'm steady on my phone What's up guys, it's your boy Skits here And today, we're back with another car extra racing online video In today's car extra racing online video We're gonna be going over all of the different differentials in car X Explaining what they are And I'm also gonna be showing you guys which differential is the best or basically letting you guys debate in the comments which differential is the best if you guys don't know in the new car x ptr 2.15.0 update they added a few new differential types so basically in this video i just want to go over you know the meaning of them and showing you guys a little bit of background knowledge about all of them and things of that nature so with that being said we're going to be going over what an open differential is and then we're going to be going over the spool differential, the viscose limited slip differential, and the clutch based limited slip differential. So let's go ahead and get started. I got Google Chrome open right now with a few different tabs showing what each thing is. So let's get into it, man. An open differential. Basically, what an open differential is, is it says here open differentials are the most common differential found on passenger vehicles, which are basically like normal cars you would see every day and basically what they do is allow the wheels to rotate at different speeds while the vehicle is turning a corner so like this is a drift game so basically when you're drifting it'll allow your tires to spin at two different speeds which you really don't want because if you're going around a corner and one tire is spinning at this speed the other is spinning at that speed it's going to make your handling and control feel really weird i don't know about you guys but i don't know one person that drifts with an open differential i'm pretty sure you can it's probably not the best but if you guys know anybody that drifts with an open differential let me know down below in the comment section but with that being said we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next differential type car x has added in this new update that's coming soon to console nintendo switch and things of that nature so up next we got the spool differential so what is a spool differential? Basically, a spool is a is basically a steel collar that splines both axle shafts together with a flange to bolt the rear or to bolt the ring gear onto. Very simple to be sure, but this differential replacement is too hardcore for 99% of street driven 4x4s, which we're not driving 4x4s in car extra racing. I mean, maybe you are, but not me. We're drifting in car extra racing. So if you guys want to know what this is basically hold on one second okay so look i cannot find too much information on what a spool differential is all i know about it though is that a lot of people in formula drift use the spool differential so i'm assuming it's probably one of the best differentials that you can use but i believe what a spool differential is is that it's a differential that basically locks both of the axles together so that they're spinning at the same time no matter what if i'm wrong let me know down below in the comment section but i believe a spool differential is a completely locked differential but with that being said let's go ahead and move on to the next differential type and that's the viscose limited slip differential so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it is really quick so a viscose type of limited slip differential uses thick liquid and replacement of clutches to create the resistance required to alter the diff's behavior between open and locked. With less moving parts, viscose LSDs are smoother than mechanical. So I went to this website, Car Throttle, and did a little bit of reading on this. So basically, what it does is it basically works with some spider gear. So there's a spider gear. I think there's either one or two spider gears coming from the transmission and basically that spider gear or the two spider gears coming from the transmission are basically turning the drive shafts for the two wheels so i don't know if this con is considered a lock differential or not or like it's 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 technically not it's like limited slip so for the most part i believe that the wheels will be spinning together but I'm not too sure what it means. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of reading. So look right here. So basically the drive shaft slash or the, yeah, the drive slot. What am I talking about? The drive shaft axle. Basically these connect the, the, the drive gears and are the output shafts of the differential sending torque to the driven wheels. 
spider gear so it says the spider gear seen below in the green mesh with the drive gears however they rotate with the differential housing they are on bearings around the pinion shaft which allows them to freely rotate about the axis axis of the pinion shaft the pinion shaft split into two separate shafts below is what holds the spider gears in place this shaft is connected with the differential housing thus the spider gears rotate with the housing so i'm not really too sure what this means if you guys can explain to me better what a viscose limited slip differential is down below in the chat i would really appreciate that but with that being said let's go ahead and move on to the next one which is the clutch based limited slip differential and after this one we're going to be showing you guys what the best differential for drifting may b so the clutch based limited slip differential basically what the clutch type limited slip differential basically what it is it's an, it is it's an open differential but what happens is if something occurs while driving that would make the two car or the two wheels spin at different speeds there's a there's a mechanism inside of the differential that will keep the wheels from spinning um at two different speeds and make them spin at the same speed so it says the spring pack pushes the side gears against the clutches which are attached to the cage both side gears spin with the cage when both wheels are moving at the same speed and the clutches aren't really needed the only time the clutches step in is when something happens to make one wheel spin faster than the other as in a turn the clutches fight this behavior wanting both wheels to go to the same speed if one wheel wants to spin faster than the other <clears throat> It must first overpower the clutch. The stiffness of the springs combined with the friction of the clutch determine how much torque it takes to overpower it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and look at what the best differential is for drifting. So right here it says for track use, something more aggressive tends to be a better option, such as a one way, which is the spool differential, which is completely locked or a 1.5 way clutch type limited slip differential, which is this one right here. For drifting or rally driving occasionally, a two-way LSD may be the best option as it's more desirable in these scenarios for wheel speeds to remain relatively equal. So if you guys agree with that, let me know down below in the comment section. If I was wrong about anything in this video, please let me know down below in the comment section. I'm not an expert at differentials or knowing about differentials, but I am pretty smart when it comes to cars and setting them up for drifting. So if you guys have any extra knowledge or anything you want to let me know, please let me know down below in the comment section. But with that being said, this has been your boy Ty Skids playing car extra racing or not really playing car extra racing, but going over all of the different types of differentials in car X and what the best differential may be for car X. Also, what I'll probably be doing is putting out two different videos using the spool differential and the clutch based limited slip differential and showing you guys the settings that I use for them. So you guys can use the same thing or maybe use my settings to kind of go based off of that to find your own. But um, other than that, you guys stay safe. God bless. This has been your boy Ty Skids and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah. I be really chillin', I be in the zone Prayin' up to God that I really make it home Cause I know the opposition's really want me gone I been making money moves, yeah, I'm steady on my phone